do 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 it's Chemdork. Hello everyone, this is Chemdork, and welcome to episode number 14 of season number 2 of the My Buildcraft series, where we play Minecraft with the mods of Buildcraft, Thermal Expansion, and Forestry installed, and welcome back. Welcome back to you, and welcome back to me. It's been a little while since I've been in this world, as is typical. I don't seem to do these things too often anymore. Just been extremely busy. Luckily, things have died down a little bit, and uh, I can dedicate an episode, so this is great. And I have an idea, and you know what? I'm really ready. I am totally ready for this episode, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Um, so often I go back and have to sort of restock and yada yada yada, but not too much of this this episode, I'm hoping. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But uh, it's time to go to work. No, we don't want to go to work. Uh, but really, it's actually time we do some things, so I guess we'll pick up the wrench. Why not? So, last episode we put in the quarry. Hooray. Nothing too exciting, honestly, but it was actually some excitement in the last episode. I did beat the Ender Dragon, too. And yes, I do plan on putting in an Enderman farm. I don't know if I'll put that on camera, because uh, as you... Actually, I don't know if you guys do know, but I do have, in the Nether, I have a dual blaze farm. Ooh, they're not linked, but and it's actually only one blaze farm. But there's a blaze spawner really quite close to it that I can turn as well into a blaze farm. But yeah, that that is one way I can get XP in this world. But anyways, that's beside the point. We're not doing anything like that. I don't know if I'll put the Enderman farm uh, creation on camera because I actually don't know when I'm gonna do it. But I'll probably do it eventually. Anyway, um, we're gonna actually do something similar to this. Remember when we put this in? This was episode. Oh God, I don't remember. But it was this season, obviously, and it's a sand and glass generator. It's manually controlled, so basically it turns, it uses thermal expansion to create cobblestone that is then turned into sand that can just be collected as sand. Or I can switch this and have it go into the powered furnace to turn it into glass. This kind of idea was brought about because I said, hey, you know what? I use sand and glass a decent amount, so I want to kind of always have them available. Well. I wanted to expand upon this concept, make it an automatic process, and yeah, do much more than just sand and glass, because we can do much more than that with the thermal expansion machines. So the first step in this process is getting rid of these things. It's okay, don't worry, we're going to have sand and glass generators in, um, again, in the future. It's just not right now. So a few other things we're going to be able to do is actually, I don't know what's going to go on this wall, but I don't want to put the thing that I'm thinking of here because I want, basically I want a wall of blocks that I use kind of often that I can automatically generate. And it seems like the best place for it is actually this wall. So I kind of want to make these machines, these sort of manual controlled machines, I might move them to this wall where I now had the sand and glass generator and kind of move my wall of items that we're going to make here uh, over on this wall. And as is kind of customary now, sort of, uh, with some of the things that I do now in this world, it's, uh, I kind of want to give this thing a name. Um, basically, it's a resource regenerator, and it's automatic. So it makes sense to call it the Automatic Resource Regenerator, or ARR. We could call it R for short. So that's actually what we're going to call it. So the R, R. Um, yep, demo time. So I'm gonna demolish this wall and realize that I have no space in my inventory for any of these things, which is just great, um, just just fabulous. But that's okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna pick up this stuff a little later. Don't worry. Oh no, wait. We don't wanna do that. Yeah, we're gonna pick up this stuff a little later. Um, for now, I'm just gonna kind of leave it on the ground. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. We'll pick it up later. Don't worry. Gonna get out of way. Uh, going to remove just a lot of those things and give it a new wall. And actually, we might do a cut here because guess what? I have no room in my inventory and I really need to move this stuff away. Yeah, I kind of really do. Eh. Eh. Ah. Ah. That's okay. All right. Well, let, let me actually do that. Um, yep. Yep. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna cut. Yep. I'll be right back. Got to clean up. Okay, the janitorial duties are done, and this is nice and clean. And as it turns out, I, there's no way I can fit everything I need to in one inventory, so I'm going to have to go back, but that's okay. 
But let's uh, set up the wall setup here. So the wall is going to have nine chests, and thus far I have defined eight of the nine. So there's going to be one that's going to be empty for now. But uh, this is the way the way it's going to look, and it's going to kind of operate on the fact of these chests will always be full with whatever item is identified by these item frames. So I'm just going to identify the items in these frames, and we're going to wait. How did I? I had nine frames. I swear I did. Did I just put? Oh, weird. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know what just happened. Did I just bug out? That's weird. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, I think I put an item frame on an item frame or something. I, I think I framed an item frame. That's wait. Can I do that? Ha! <laughs> you can actually, which is funny. But uh, okay, let's do this again. Okay, so there's nine item frames. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so each item frame is going to be next to the chest. I I wanted to set it up like this. This just it kind of looks nice, and I think it's going to be pretty obvious. So the items I'm going to have full constantly are cobblestone, stone, stone bricks, and then we're going to have um, the next one is going to be sandstone, sand, and glass. So we'll put sand here, glass here, and sandstone there. And then the last one is actually just going to be snow and ice, uh, just because I kind of can. I don't know if I'm going to use these that much, but just in case I want to. Um, and these are items that can easily be uh, filled back with thermal expansion. And I might expand this to this wall too a little bit, but that depends on what I'm going to do and sort of what my plans are, yada yada yada. But for the interim, this is what we're going to be doing. So this is cool, and then there'll be items, uh, there'll be sort of the machinery down back here. Now I may, I may not keep, or I probably will move this enchanting area, but uh, we're not going to worry about that this episode. So the first thing to actually do is to put in the machines. Um, so let's, let's actually first put in this, so here's some glass I have left, let me just put that there. And do I have any more of these? Yeah, I do. So let me put, whoop. Oh, whoops, uh, I need to actually remove these blocks above the chests, otherwise I cannot open them. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, good. Um, stone bricks, got it. Okay, so let's grab our items that we need. Uh, we need these guys. We'll put them all over here. Do, 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 do. And we actually will use an aqueous accumulator or an igneous extruder first. This is going to be real easy. So the first one's really easy. It's um, it's cobblestone. So cobblestone, to generate cobblestone in an endless fashion, you just need an igneous extruder. And we're just going to put one right underneath the chest. We're going to set it to control to disabled. It's just going to be on all the time. And it's going to put the item of cobblestone right to the top. And all we need to do now is give it some water, give it some lava, and it's on. And it'll just generate cobblestone and put it in this chest until the chest is full, at which time this will then fill up with cobblestone. And when this is full, it'll just stop. It won't make any more. And so it kind of has its own little, all the thermal expansion machines sort of do that, where they, they kind of have their own little stopping mechanism. And we can use that for some, but for many of them, we're going to have to stop them. So for cobblestone, it's really easy. For stone and stone bricks, it's a little bit different and they operate a little bit differently. Now, okay, I have a lava bucket, that's good. I need some water, though. All right, and um, yeah, I think, I think that's all I'll need. No, I'll need some other stuff over here. So we're gonna need iron gates. I'm just gonna use, I think I'll need two of these, and I'll, I'll just use two of these, too. Now, you know what, I'm gonna use four of these. Good. Uh, I'll use some red wire, and I'll need blue wire. I don't need two gold gates. And that should be it. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue. So this is actually also pretty easy. What we need to do is, um, and what I wanted to actually do is, igneous extruders can be set to create stone as well. Uh, it uses no lava, but you have to have lava here, and it will use up water, which means we need to replenish water, which is good because we have aqueous accumulators. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and we need this one back. Come on. Where did, where did he go? Where did he go? Igneous extruder! Hey, wh wh wait, did he just disappear? 
That's that's not cool. Where'd it go? Seriously, that's weird. Um, did it just go in the... Hold on a second. I I'm getting a little buggy here. I'll be right back. Wait, no, I got it. Never mind. <laughs> I did have three. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm really confused. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll get it eventually. Um, so I want to put the aqueous accumulator in the ground here. We're actually going to need one to create the stone, um, and we can use the same igneous extruder to create stone blocks, the smooth stone, as well as the stone bricks, but I don't want to... we're not going to have a good way of stopping the machines unless we have them separate, so that's, that's kind of why I want them separate, but they can share the same aqueous accumulator. So you, you'll kind of see what I mean when I when I do it. So that's where the aqueous accumulator is going to go. Back here is where we're going to put one little bit of water. Water. And we grab another bit of water. And I could have filled up two buckets. I sure, sure I could have. Actually, we're going to need we're going to need another bucket, so why not just fill up another one? We're going to need one for the actual igneous extruders themselves. Um okay, so that's where the igneous extrude the aqueous accumulator is going to go. Let's just put it there right now. Um, we're going to have one more igneous extruder to the right here. Uh, and one up top. So where is... There it is. There it is. We're going to put two. We're going to put one here and one here. And for now, what we're going to be doing... I'm going to click on this aqueous accumulator and say you're going to go up and to the right. So it's going to start filling up this really slowly because it doesn't have two blocks of water next to it, but now it will. So that should be plenty, actually. It should start filling this up. Oh, wait, wait. We need to set the blue to the bottom, and for this guy, we need to set him to the side. Okay. Uh, so for this, it's going to be used to generate smooth stone, and we're going to have that go up to a... where is he? Cyclic Assembler. This guy is kind of cool. It's a kind of a cool machine. So we're going to have it receive blocks over here and put them out maybe up top? Yeah, maybe up top. That's, that's not bad. Um, but basically this is kind of an automated crafting thing. So what you do is you put a schematic in one of these and then you set what the schematic needs to do. So in this case I want it to make from smooth stone, stone bricks. You say yes you see, now it says it's four stone bricks from four stone, and now it's set to run. Um, now for all of these, we're going to actually use redstone control to turn them off and on, and we're going to send a signal when the chest is full, we're going to send a signal to basically turn things off. That's kind of how it's going to work. Uh, so for this one, he's just making smooth stone for the fun of making smooth stone. And so that's kind of it. That's that's all we need. We, we do need lava. Um, yeah, we do need lava. But we'll put that in in a second. For now, let's put in some pipes. Uh, we'll put in some cobblestone here, just for fun. All right, uh, and that is going to be, this is the stone pipe, so I'll put that here. Um, and actually, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to, no, I'll put it like right here, like this. That's fine. Yeah, that, that, that'll work. And then we're going to set our first redstone control. So. Redstone gate, or I'm sorry, iron gate, iron gate. And now we need a red pipe wire to kind of connect these two so they can talk to one another. There we go. And what we're going to do is say when this notices that the chest, the inventory or the chest is full, it'll send out a red pipe signal. And that'll go here. And then when this gets a red pipe signal, it's going to put out a redstone signal. And then we would need to make sure that when this receives a redstone signal, it turns off. And that's how you do it is over here. So right now, if it has a low redstone signal or essentially a no redstone signal, it's enabled. This means that when it gets a redstone signal, it will be disabled or it will shut off, which is actually what we want. This, however, we want to not... See, the problem is, if we have it just doing that, we're going to actually shut this one off by, by accident. So I want to put this one to disabled, and by that I also want to look at the aqueous accumulator and put that one to disabled. The only ones I want to activate are this one with a redstone signal and this guy. Um, and actually what we can do with this guy is we could probably just run the stone pipe right here next to it. But I kind of want to not do that. 
just because I think it's going to be hard to get around. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting in some uh, glowstone lamps or something similar on the top. So for now, it'll be kind of dark in here. That's okay. Uh, we have to use stone pipes because they will not connect to the cobblestone. And we're going to have to use blue pipe wire and gold gates because the red pipe wires will traverse um, across pipes. So that this way they don't interact. Okay, but basically we're going to do the same thing. Same exact thing. Same exact principle. Everything's the same. So with this, it's inventory item. No, I'm sorry. Inventory is full. Send out a blue pipe signal. And then when you get a blue pipe signal, put out a redstone signal. And then when this, it's enabled when there's no redstone signal. When there is a redstone signal, therefore, it will be disabled or it will shut off. And I guess you can make things with water, too, if you want, uh, with the cyclic assembler. Pretty cool. All right, but this guy needs power. Uh, this guy does not. So we can actually have this going right now. We just need lava. Okay, it's actually making some smooth st Oh, no, it's making... There you go. Now it's making smooth stone. Uh-oh. Uh, don't, 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 don't do that. Uh, where is the cobblestone pipe? Okay, there we go. Got to fix it. Got to fix it. Uh, don't worry. There you go. It's fixed. Come on. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. And this guy is not able to accept it to the right, so it should only go this way, even though the pipe is connected. Sweet! All right, let's move on. Um, so that's one down, and uh, this guy to go, and then this guy to go. So we'll be, uh, I'll be right back as I make sure I get everything ready, and we'll do the second part. Okay, that was the easy one. Now here's the actual, probably the hardest one. It's a little more of a, an efficient setup, but basically I want to make sure, and by the way guys, yes, I could have used the same Ignis Extruder. This one I could have set to put out things to the right as well, but um, what that means is that I would shut it off when I had a full chest of smooth stone and I wouldn't be able to make any more stone bricks, which is kind of a problem. Plus, the stone bricks would also be made in a slower fashion. So, yeah, it uses a little more resources, but that's okay. This looks pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead, though, and put the second guy in. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to share an igneous extruder for this one. Um, we're going to have a pulverizer here, here, and here, I believe. Oops. And I think we're going to put void pipes. We can get away with two void pipes, one there and one underneath. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's a void pipe underneath there. Basically, what's going to happen, let's set up the, let's set up this igneous extruder first. So let's have it output to the top. See, it's top, right, and down. So top, right, and down. Let's have this receive to the top have down be the void pipe because we generate gravel when we uh, pulverize cobblestone this is set to cobblestone um let me do this let me just put some water in there which is to put the lava in there to start it going uh this guy is gonna have receiving to the left his uh output of gravel is gonna go up yes uh this guy is gonna be receiving down and his output of gravel is gonna go right um hmm what should we do? Should we put the furnace? So furnace is going to go, I think... Well, let's actually see where the setup is here. So it's sand, glass, sandstone. Um, sandstone is made by the cyclic assembler. It kind of makes sense to have the cyclic assembler up top then, uh, which is what we'll do. So the cyclic assembler will be there. This output will be sand to the left. Input will be to the right. And output, I think down. Yeah, I think we'll do it down. And then here, this is just going to make sand. How about that? And the output's going to be to the left. All right, cool. So that means that this has to be stone. And we should be okay with that. And that can go right to here because that's going to be sand. Um, that's actually really easy. Okay, do that. And then uh, the last one is the powered furnace, which is making glass. So this one is going to go receiving items here. It needs to output its sand to the bottom and output its gravel to the top, to this void pipe. Sweet. 
Okay, so this is now receiving from the top. Whoops, there we go. And output is going to be... I could put it to the bottom, I guess. I need to get it there. I think it's going to have to go around, but I want to save space here, so I think I might actually do the bottom. Yeah, I might actually do the bottom. We'll do a bottom pipe. Oh, wait, wait, no, there's a void pipe there, right? Yeah, okay, let's not do the bottom. Let's do the side. Yep, okay, that's fine. Um, okay, and it's got to actually be cobblestone pipe, right? Yeah, oh, damn it. You know what I need to do? I need to switch these two pipes in order to make this work. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I have it figured out now, and I've done some things. Uh, first of all, I put in some lights, just because I thought this would be a lot better than torches. Second of all, I made these both stone for kind of the reasons of pipe laying, and I, actually this one didn't need to be stone, but I, I didn't need to change it. Um, and thirdly, I switched the cyclic assembler and the powered furnace, just based on, just because I thought it would be easier. So, um... I set these to disabled. Uh, ba Ooh, what's going on? Uh, anything that is not directly going to be controlled by redstone, I want to put it to disabled. This one is, so it's enabled low. This one is, so it's enabled low. And this one is as well, so it's enabled low, because those are the three that are actually going to be responsible for the control. And it's a good thing I put in these lights now, because I it's difficult to get back here once all these pipes are in. So, um, I'm going to put it like this, this way they don't connect. This is going to have to be red, so that means it's going to be iron. So there you go. I uh, need to put some red pipe wire, because otherwise you can't actually control it with red pipe wire. There we go. Um, that should be it. Oop. And I'll just have it go right over this guy. And there we go. Um, so that should be running the pipe wire properly. Yep, looks good. All right, now it's uh, inventory full. Send out a red pipe signal. Yeah, okay, cool. So that'll stop this, and this is putting items out to the bottom. And this would be the glass. That's why the glass is in the middle. And finally, we have to use cobblestone with this guy. And I do want to use some gold pipes here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use them right away. I think I gotta use them like over here. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. Two, three, and then shoot them over real quick. I uh, guess we'll put them in the ceiling. Or put them to the ceiling, I guess. There we go. That's good. Um, and then this is going to be blue pipe wire. That way it shouldn't connect with anything else. Do, 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 do. And there we go. And then I'll need gold gates for this one. This is why I need gold so much. Uh, not because of the, of the gold gates, necessarily. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Um, oh, this needs a schematic. Uh, let's do it now while we remember. And this is making sandstone. Done. Excellent. And it's being controlled. And this is going to spit items out to the right. So we got that gold gate here. Inventory full, send out a blue pipe signal. Sweet! Alright, the last one is left to go. Whoops. <laughs> okay. The last one is left to go, and that is the glacial precipitators. I'm going to think about how I'm going to set these up, and then I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, finally got the pipes set up. Um, first of all, yeah, uh, glacial precipitators are going to go right here, and right where this block used to be which means my aqueous accumulator that I'm going to share between the two of them is going to go right there. And that's going to be a place for water, as well as, I guess, here. Yeah, I guess those two are going to be places for water. So let me grab some water. Do, 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 water. Water. Okay. Uh, and actually, I will need... No, I won't. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'll need water... Oops, here, and here. And then aqueous accumulator is going to go right... There we go. Perfect. Uh, okay, good. It's going to go up and to the right. Oh, and I want it to be disabled, just in case. Uh, so we're going to need a glacial precipitator right here. 
It's going to receive water. Well, it actually already is. It's receiving from the left. It's spitting out items to the oops, to the top. Uh, this is going to receive water to the whoops, to the to the down, <laughs> and spit out items to the top. All right, cool. Um, oh, you know what? I never I never put this back. I'm sorry. There we go. Because I was kind of messing around here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we go. It's kind of messing around here, just trying to figure things out. So if this guy is going to have to be red, so that means iron pipes got to be here. Our uh, red wire's got to be here because it won't um, interfere with the blue wire right here. Okay, and that means the cobblestone is going to get red wi uh, blue wire. Yes, okay. Uh, oh, good, good. I have just enough. So here we go. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. And then this is going to have a gold gate with blue wire. Oops. Oh, actually. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, weird. Cool. Okay. I didn't know you could right click and actually go the opposite way through the, um, through the options. Interesting. Learn something new every day. All right. That's going to, uh, the problem is we can't have this gate here because what it's going to do is it's going to shut off that one. So what I need to do is I think I'm just going to do it this way. We're going to actually have structural pipe right here and run the blue wire across and down and put the gate right there. And that way, whoops, when it receives a blue signal, it'll send out a redstone signal. Cool. This is going to be set to, so this is gray is actually the second. So this one's going to be set to ice. This one's going to be set to snow. And basically, it just uses power to create that. And that's it. That's actually it. This is this is actually done. Uh, this one can, this sucker can start uh, producing some, some cobblestone. It'll send it to up, right, down, up, right, down, up, right, down. I've kind of done some tests. So that guy has two. This guy will now have two, and this guy will now have two. Yep. And that guy will have three, three, three. Yada yada yada. They can't move now because they don't have power, which is the last thing we need to do. So let me actually run this power. I'm just going to run it right from here, and that'll be it. And then we'll uh, we'll have things running. So I'll be right back. Okay, uh, ran the power, and actually I realized that um, after going through this setup and trying to see what is going to interfere with what else, uh, I needed to move this over by one block because it was going to interfere. This was going to depower that, so I didn't want that to happen. It's also important to note that these, um, if they're next to a block, a solid block, they essentially power this block. So if I had a machine right back here, that would be a problem. Oh, and I need to make sure that I'm still running the power correctly, and I'm not. I know I need to reconnect these, essentially. Uh, yeah. What do I need to do here? Um, well, I could actually run it in front as well. I could just pick up this water and put that in front. Yeah, I could do it that way. Um, and then, uh, yeah, power this guy from the back. Okay, let me just do that. That's fine. Uh, he doesn't need to be... Well, you know what? He's, he can just do it that way. That's fine. That's okay. I think I'm... Uh, do I need to put a block deck here? I think. Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, I think I'm okay. I think that'll work out just fine. No problems. Oh, I need some... Well, I need some stone. And hey, look at this. We have our first full chest. That should be cut. Oh. Oh. We just ran that to the wrong chest. Oh. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to have to fix this. Huh. <sighs> okay. I had to basically redo all the piping. Ugh. All that work. But anyways, like I was saying, you got to be careful with these um, pipe gates being next to a block and having another machine there because you can actually affect the other machine with this sort of redstone current if you send one out. So I had to get rid of this block specifically because otherwise it was going to interfere. Uh, I think it should be okay though otherwise. Um, oh, that's right. I turned this status of this machine to the wrong status just because I had to pause it momentarily but it's back in action, 
And there it goes. Come on. There it goes. Should see a block here any moment. There we go. Okay, we're ready to turn everything else on. Um, and in doing so, I think everything has power. I'm pretty sure the way we can turn it on is this. We do that. Okay, everything should start to go pretty soon. All right, there's a glacial precipitator turning on. Same with this guy. He's, oh, oh, you know what? This is uh, putting out a pitiful amount of power. Let's have it max power. Uh, great, look at all these pulverizers turning on. We're going to see some, uh, some items coming through in a second here. We should see, there we go, we see some sand. We should see the cyclic assembler move in. Oops. Oh, did I just run it, put a pipe there? That's stupid. Let me, let me put a, yeah, there you go. Whoops. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Crap. I gotta undo that. Gotta undo that. Really quick. Uh, yep. There we go. There we go. Good, good. Whoops. Um, what's one is, oh, there we go. Torch is great. That. I need to see what the cyclic assembler is doing. Um, it's not getting anything. That's kind of funny. Oh, uh, you know why? Because that one needs uh, that needs a block. We need to give it. Oh, oh, okay. We need to give it some lava. I think we missed out on lava. I believe this is all the lava I need. And just because I want to get there quick, let me try go in from this way. I think I can do it this way. Uh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Fine. Uh, this, yeah, it needs lava. Okay. Do, 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 do. Boom! Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> I'll kind of fix that later. Um, yeah, this is always the sort of nuts part of the, about the whole operation where you're not really sure if everything's working. You have to kind of work with it. Wow, this is cool. That looks awesome. That is production at its best. So that is that is pretty awesome. So we actually had a... <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. I can't believe I ran this pipe to the wrong chest, so I had to change that, which basically changed all the pipes around. All right, everybody is moving like they should. Now, it's important to note that actually what I'm going to end up doing is I don't want this to all fill up with sand, so what I'm going to do is put dirt here, and what that will do is prevent this from ever holding more than 64 items. I'm going to do the same thing to the other cyclic assembler. It's kind of something I recommend because otherwise it'll just keep on holding up all those items and then the thing to note about the cyclic assembler is it, it is extremely fast. So it'll just make all those items all at once. So this will kind of stop things from happening. Um, uh, this will stop like sending 10,000 blocks of, uh, of uh, sandstone to this chest, for example. But this is great. Look at this. We are generating... Oop, oh, that shouldn't be there. <laughs> that was there from something else. Oh, and that actually did... Uh, this actually kind of showcases what's going on here with this. Pretty cool. All right, this is a little slow at generating, but it will generate eventually. See, as it's kind of generating very slow. But this is really awesome. Wow, look at that. That's great. Oh, and the final thing we have to do is grab one of these blocks of ice. Thank you. And add it to there. Nice. Well, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode because that's it. Um, this was a lot of fun, and I think it'll be pretty useful, and I think it's working pretty well. So we'll, we'll do something kind of fun next time, too, and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. This is awesome. Woohoo!